Hey guys, Team Ace here, E, and I'm going to be doing, sorry that we've been really away for a long time, E and C, we pretty much quit, well, not really quit, but take a break, um, I'm not saying we're going to make videos a little more often, just, I'm, I might make videos like once every two weeks, maybe, just to, um, just to make you guys happy, because I don't, it doesn't really matter. Cause it's, yeah, <laughs> but whatever. Let's just go. Oh, let's do this. Um, I mean, to, uh, I'm gonna be talking about heroes. I still never got my deck box back from my friend, not locals. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna be talking about heroes today. Uh, and the fact that, um. What's their place in the meta? What's like, 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 and how they're doing right now? Heroes right now just popped up out of nowhere. And uh, Joel Girondo took the top four, which is pretty impressive. And then the YCS after in, in Dallas, another fourth place player took took the deck and just went amazingly with it and went um, fourth. And he also went fourth. So, um, yeah. So let's just get started with just what the deck does. The deck is an anti-meta deck revolving around Neops Alias as, um, as, and again, I don't have my deck box, so I don't have all my cards. So I just have to provide you with the cards I have right now. I'm very sorry, guys. That's why I haven't really been posting videos that much, too. Because I've been kind of pissed. I just like the game state and everything right now. And I'm really sorry that the camera angles look super, super bad. You just have to get some random cards. Ah, there it is. That revolves around Stratos and Alias. You know, Stratos searching for Alias. Alias beating through stuff. And, um... And it's pretty much an anti-meta deck. Um, and the hero archetype overall is a fusion archetype. Revolving around fusions like Absolute Zero, The Shining, and sometimes if you want to be a lulzy, you just, you know, play the random. <laughs> sometimes if you want to be funny, you can just check this card in. I don't know how you can play it in, but whatever. Um, But it's just a deck that just runs pretty much two different hero monsters. One Stratos and you play three Alias. I only have two Alias, that's why I'm only showing one. But whatever. Um, everything in the deck is probably above 1800. Because you play this. That, well, unless if you're going to play cards like Honest and Bubble Man. Um, everything is a beat stick. Um, because this has a beefy defense. And you can just, you know, block, bounce, you know, summon, attack, bounce, summon, attack, bounce, or some crap like that. But... And, but, really, if you have this on the field, they try to attack, you just drop, and, but then you, but then you can play this, you, you have to play three of these, you obviously have to play the one Stratos, and, um, you play two to three Thunder Kings, um, this is optional, this is optional, Beast King Barbaros is optional, uh, and so is, uh, Thunder King, no, Thunder King is not optional, but Thunder King is mandatory. Um, and it's very low monster count, but it's pretty good. Um, like, this deck is really consistent and really budget. Um, first of all, I'll just say it's mainly heroes, because this and... No, sorry, mainly either heroes or warriors in this deck. So you play... Two e call, which I have, but I don't want to show, and one rota. So that gives you in total of three cards that you use to search your heroes, which technically gives you three cards to search for your heroes, which is pretty good in my opinion. Um, not only that, they uh, run. Of course, you have to play three Gemini Spark. Where's my third? My third's around here somewhere. In my commons. 
well my good comments okay whatever while you play three gem spark um this card used to be a good card but now it's an amazing card because back then and back then I mean like by like two days ago there was a car there was a, something in the game called priority but now that's gone so I'm pretty happy there's my third one okay and um, it just gives the deck a little more of a punch and what it does is you we just do the focus you know whatever it's not really helping Tribute one face up level four Gemini Monster you control, um, and select one card in the field. D destroy the destroy the selected card and draw one card. So what this gives you is a two for two because you're wasting this and a Gemini. But then you destroy one of their random cards and you draw one card. So you're gaining, you're losing two things. But yet you're gaining. But then they might MST. But then you will chain, you know, tribute. So they wasted three cards. You so technically your your opponent lost two things and you gained one thing, which is a plus three. But then you got a minus two, which equals into a plus one. Okay, and that's really good for you. So um, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, and of course what this deck has to run, because every hero deck has to involve fusions, or else it just would not be a hero deck. And, uh, fusions. It's mainly Shining is the main fusion, because he requires one elemental hero and one light monster, which, which can be this, Honest, Thunder King, um, Valor, even, but... All I have is an absolute zero on me. And you can also play the additional Gaia, the Super Poly, a bunch of things. Okay? And then about the trap lineup. The only thing special that you run is like three skill drain and two hero blast. Um, what hero blast does is that you can select the normal monster in your graveyard. And Gemini's count as normal monsters in your grave. For example, and then you play it. You add it to your hand. Then you get to destroy one monster with the equal attack of the card, which means 1900. And also, you kind of notice that my camera quality is a lot better because I have an iPod now. So yeah, that's pretty sick. So um, the deck is pretty budget. Like you can make the whole deck off of promos and from the uh, and from the legendary collection or from the Royale Mega Pack, which what. It's like I can pretty much build a hero deck. I just need dualities, another hero blast, another um, miracle, and um, two shining. And, yeah. So um, this deck, in my opinion, is pretty competitive, pretty good. If I have to say so for myself. But right now it's kind of losing in its popularity because it top four twice, and I think the closest it came to was top sixteen or top eight. I'm not too sure. This YCS Chicago last weekend. But overall, it's a pretty amazing deck. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of these deck analysis videos just because I've done nothing else better to do. So that's it, guys. Team Ace out. Peace.